incredibly rare and hard to get. Some lady wants to buy you one, but eat each other. What is up everyone and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fishkeeping and I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Do you guys ever have those days where you're like so excited for something that you just have like all this pent up energy and you just need to like do something to get rid of it? There, expended some energy, did a little parkour, and uh, exhausted my four-year-old, so you know, like win, win, win. But anyway, back to the video. So today is new fish day, and I'm actually super excited about this one because this is a fish I've never had before, and it's a story unlike anything that's ever happened to me before. But the fish aren't here, they're at the UPS store, so we need to actually drive and go pick them up. And like I said, I'm super excited, so I'm rambling and talking fast, but let's get over there. Twelve seconds later. Oh my gosh. I was in such a hurry to go get the fish, I completely forgot about you guys. Sorry, I left you here. But we gotta go get them unboxed. Tomorrow we're gonna get the, that thing running back, but uh, let's go open this and show you what's inside. There's definitely more than one fish in there. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. I'm sitting on Facebook a few days ago and I'm doing just, you know, the normal Facebook things that you do. But uh, I come across a video from Jonah's Aquarium. So it's a feeding video of a bunch of their baby bowfin that they have. And I've wanted a bowfin for a while. Enough people in my comments have told me I should get a bowfin, so Let's just pull the trigger on a bowfin, so I pull out my phone and I shoot a text over to Mark at Jonah's Aquariums and I say, hey, I want a bowfin. So Mark gets back to me pretty much right away and says something that I honestly never expected him to say. Um, let me show you. In case you couldn't read what that says, I'll put it up on the screen now. So he just says, some lady wants to buy you one, and I'm not supposed to say who. So now I'm like, what? 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 I'm completely blown away, trying to figure out what happened. Yes, I know this tank is cloudy. The filter sucked up a bunch of sand and now just spits it back out, so ignore that. This subscriber reached out to Mark months before and said, I want to buy Zach this fish. And Mark says, as soon as he's ready for one, we'll send it. And here I am ready for one bowfin, and you saw there was more than one fish in that bag. So at this point, I'm just speechless, I'm shocked, I'm stunned, you know. Anyway, let's get them in the tank so you guys can uh, see why I'm so excited about these fish. All right, so we're gonna let them go ahead and acclimate for about 30 minutes in that bag and uh, I'll show you them in the tank and we'll feed them and stuff like that, but just bear with me for one second. These bowfin are incredibly rare and hard to get. Mark has spent years trying to find a reliable source for bowfin and he gets them once a year, maybe. There's apparently a huge international market for bowfin, so his supplier will sometimes take the entire collection and just immediately ship them overseas, meaning he doesn't have access to them, which means we don't have access to them. But with him getting them once a year and having them right now, that means that when he sells out of this batch that he has that I showed you a little video clip of, they're gone. There's none left. I cannot stress this enough. If you guys want bowfin, a lot of you guys say, I can't wait. I'm going to order some of those. Don't wait. Shoot him a text. Here's his number. Shoot him a text right now. Say, hey, 
Zach says you have Bowfin. I want a Bowfin. And I'm gonna tell you why you need Bowfin in a second, but let's get these guys in the tank. So after I got all three of the bowfin into the tank, they did just kind of lay around on the uh, substrate and the rocks for a little bit, which was fine. They were just kind of adjusting to the tank. But as you can see here, it didn't take long before they were scooting around the tank, wiggling, just kind of uh, exploring and taking it all in. Now just some little information about the bowfin. Bowfin are generally not considered a sport fish, although they definitely are something that can be fished for. Now, bowfin can actually go by a number of different names. Some of the more common ones I found are mudfish as well as dogfish. As far as size goes, females can typically reach upwards of 30 inches in the wild and males max out around 20, 18 to 24 inches. Their diet consists of other fish and crayfish, which means we're going to be able to do some live feedings as they grow. And overwhelmingly they are just not considered common in the aquarium hobby which just makes me even more excited to be able to share them with you i do have one problem though with having three bowfin in one 55 gallon aquarium and that is with them being the just gnarly predators that they are i don't know how else to say it it's not going to be long before these guys are trying to not only kill but eat each other. And I know what you're thinking because it's the same thing that I've been thinking. You're like, oh, they're so cute. How could they just turn on each other and start just cannibalizing each other like that? But they will because they're just vicious. So the plan is that we're gonna actually separate these guys before too long and we'll do three different like aquariums. We'll do some educational stuff, which I don't always do. So if you guys are excited about the educational stuff, let me know, but before we feed them, you know, it's not a true new pet video unless I give you guys a chance to name them. Uh, I can't tell a difference right now and I've had them for, at this point, like a day. So if you guys want to do like a trio name, like a group or, you know, like college teams or whatever, you guys are creative, give me a name. I'll pick the best one. I'll let you know next time we film them and stuff like that. But uh, let's uh, go ahead and feed them. And I have like a special carnivore blend. One of those guys is a jerk. So yeah, I already have a little bit of that feeding aggression. Uh, the best thing that I'm gonna do for that is just watch them, make sure that uh, I'm not noticing any nipped fins. Obviously, they're all around the same size right now, so I don't have to worry about one of them eating each other yet. But if one starts to grow and get significantly bigger, I need to separate them before one of them becomes a snack. So that's something that we'll be working on here shortly. Hopefully, you guys are excited for me to kind of document more on baby bowfin. Um, couple other quick things thank you to the subscriber who bought me the bowfin and Jonah's aquariums for uh, hooking me up with them they're unbelievable fish and I'm super excited so go to the comments say thank you I know they read the comments so uh, show them some love let them know that they're appreciated I appreciate them let them know you guys do as well 
Drop those name suggestions. And then the last thing, we are getting dangerously close to 20,000 subscribers. I'm super excited to uh, do some fun things for that. Uh, maybe we'll do some giveaways. Uh, some new merchandise is coming, some other big things. So let me know if you guys are excited about everything we have going. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Do all that fun stuff. Thank you for everything that you guys do for me. I appreciate each and every one of you, even if you don't buy me fish. I love you all. Thanks for watching this one, and until the next video, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you soon. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>